Hello lovely people. Today I'm going to try and bring a little brevity to the world as it burns. Anyone else obsessively checking the COVID-19 Google tracker? Why do I keep refreshing when it only updates once a day? It feels like we've only just got out of the first lockdown, but cases are again rising in the UK and I for one am bored. I would like this whole pandemic drama to just go away. I'm feeling very, very done with shielding in my house. And I really, really want to plan a Christmas party with all of my friends. And I realize that's the least of the problems, but I can't because currently the UK only allows six people to gather at one time and only from two households. So I just want Christmas. So let's all do everything we can to stop the spread of coronavirus by wearing masks, coordinating masks, obviously. No, I'm kidding. They don't have to coordinate your outfit. I just have really specific thing about color and not wearing too many at once. Face masks have become a symbol of the pandemic era. It is, in fact, 2020 in visual shorthand. Yeah, I too would rate it one star. Last year, in my country anyway, people wearing masks in public with the standouts and may even have drawn stares. But this is 2020 and now anything goes, unfortunately with some companies capitalizing on this new area of fashion in some terrible ways. What even is this? I am genuinely terrified. Now, I'm not here to debunk myths about masks. I mean, some people say, oh, you can't breathe in a mask for more than 20 minutes. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my wife, who is a dentist and works for hours wearing a mask and is still alive. No, I'm not a doctor. I don't have the medical authority to refute those claims, but I do have a sartorial awareness to make fun of some truly hideous masks. So let's go. Also, this is all for fun. Please do be kind to people who accidentally get it wrong, like grandmas who crochet masks, but feel free to absolutely trash companies who could have put the research in to get it right, but just chose to make bad decisions instead. Also, also, I am indeed aware that some people are unable to wear masks for health reasons, including disabilities that affect you sensorially, or maybe you're in a caregiving role to the person you're looking after would be upset or harmed by your mask wearing. Those people deserve absolutely no judgment. These masks, however, deserve judgment. Why are we wearing masks anyway? Well, once it has infected someone, the SARS-CoV-2 virus responsible for the disease hijacks their cells to replicate itself. As it multiplies, these new virus particles then burst out of the cells and become suspended in the bodily fluids of our lungs, mouth and nose. When an infected person coughs, they can send showers of tiny droplets known as aerosols filled with the virus into the air, which is pleasant. One recent study showed that we spray thousands of droplets invisible to the naked eye into the air just by uttering the words, stay healthy. Mm. Once out of our mouths, many of the larger droplets will quickly settle onto nearby surfaces, while smaller ones remain suspended in the air for hours where they can be breathed in. So wearing a mask stops you from potentially sneezing out virus and taking in the virus. It can help to reduce transmission in the community, particularly if used in public transport and crowded areas. Recent modeling work at the University of Cambridge, which was published in June, also supports these findings. It showed that routine face mask use while in public by 50 or more percentage of the population could bring down the infection rate, also known as the reproduction or R number, to less than one, helping to flatten the spread of the disease. Fabulous. Not fabulous. Now, um, what to say? So this is clearly some kind, I'm guessing a grandmother. That might be wrong. You know, she might be uh, a woman who has gone her own way which I fully support. We don't all need to have children. It's not everyone's dream or desire, so it would be wrong to call her a grandma. It's a no, it's, it's gonna be a no. One of the very important things about wearing a mask is that it has a weave that is close enough for the particles of virus to not get through. This is wide enough that you could stick a straw in there. You, I mean, any kind of particles are getting in here, my lord. I do have to say, uh, I am enjoying the coordination between the mask and the top. I just really hope that when going out in public, because she does appear to be of an age at which the virus is more likely to affect you, that she's wearing another mask underneath this crocheted mask, because this is not it. Also not it is this net cotton mask that I found on Etsy. I mean, 
Who told you this was a good idea? Not just for the reason that quite clearly this protects you from no one and nothing, but also it's so 70s. This feels to me like they knew. I'm willing to give the previous one a shot. I'm willing to say maybe, maybe she, th she thought she looked cute. She thought she was doing the right thing. This one, I think you know. I think you're perfectly aware that this is pointless. And you're just here to make a mockery of what we're all going through. That is not what we need this year. Of course, just because people have the correct mask doesn't mean they're wearing it correctly, like our next contestant. No. Here we can see that she in fact is wearing a surgical mask, yay, wearing it off her nose, which asking for trouble, I have to say, because here you're gonna feel like, yes, I'm very protected. I can't breathe anything in. Uh, forgetting that your nose breathes? It's a big gaping hole in the center of your face that any kind of virus can get in. I think we should take it back to the sartorial point of view and say, honestly, from this large-nosed girl, wearing a face mask can actually be rather enhancing. No one needs to see that. A, a lovely, lovely example here of had a mask, could have worn it, didn't wear it. Who do you feel like you are protecting from yourself? Well, I did just say, I did just say, you should probably know by now, that uh, it does hang in the air for up to three hours. So if this woman is carrying the virus, maybe she has an asymptomatic carrier, maybe she's got no idea. She sneezes out into the air, she puts her mask back on, she walks away, that sneeze is just hanging there, it's just there. And then someone else, whether they, they might be wearing the face mask, walks through her sneeze, and it's now on their mask. And then they're probably gonna touch their mask. I mean, we should probably just have been washing our hands before this point, really. I mean, if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that our cleanliness was horrific beforehand. That study I told you about from the University of Cambridge actually showed that masks don't need to be 100% effective to help. And if the entire population wore masks that were even 75% effective at keeping out the virus, we wouldn't need another lockdown, so. Q commenters from the future bitterly laughing at the fact that didn't happen. I really don't want another lockdown, okay? I have tasted a tiny slice of freedom and I don't want to go back in. I mean, sadly, that tiny slice of freedom did include going to a garden center and there was a man with a mask at the checkout who then pulled down his mask to sneeze and put it back on. And everyone was just cool with that. And I will admit, okay, wearing a mask isn't always great. It's not wonderful. I don't love it. I wasn't doing it before. And once this whole thing is over, I don't think I'm gonna be doing it again, except for perhaps when traveling, because wow, is public transport just crawling in bugs and just ugh. Other annoying things about a mask, um, facial recognition, very irritating. Having to constantly type in your password. I, to be honest, am not someone who loves putting passwords on my devices anyway, because I don't go anywhere. You know, I'm just inconveniencing myself. So now we're going to talk about a mask that is pure genius, but also horrifying. Oh my God, I cannot. Her face is melting. She has two noses and two mouths and it's just too much for my brain to cope with. I also really like the fact that you can smile at people because one of the things that I do all the time is smile at strangers. Well, I'm doing smiley eyes. Smile. Smiley eyes, right? It's a thing. It's a thing, you can see them. I love being nice and friendly. Not everyone wants that, especially in the middle of a pandemic. Wow, I should be less friendly. This mask from Pretty Little Thing um, it is less the look I was going for personally. Look, is chic the right word for the 90s? I uh, would like to point out immense gappiness here, not really very close to the under chin area, which isn't gonna be much protection uh, from other people from her because she'll just be, oh. you know what, it's much better than everything else Pretty Little Thing have done, like this. Also, is she actually wearing that or has someone just photoshopped it over her face? This is a fashion accessory for a different year. It's not a 2020 mask. This is a mask that we would have been wearing some years ago or maybe some years in the future. You're not protecting yourself. You're not protecting anyone else. This mask is silly. In our next realm of why, 
the lace front mask. I see what you did there. I see it, I see it. I think it's cute. It does look a little bit like underwear, but maybe that's your look. Lots of people nowadays are wearing underwear as outerwear. I don't love it, but fine. I realize I'm not with the times. It's not as bad as first appears. I think it may have a layer underneath it of flesh tone. We are not, however, giving the benefit of the doubt to this next Pretty Little Thing mask. I know you're probably thinking, why are you still trashing on Pretty Little Thing? But I just don't understand it. Who purchases this and then just wears it? And what do you think it's doing? Are you aware that it's not? In which case, bad you. One of the reasons that widespread public face mask wearing is so important with COVID-19 has to do with the prevalence of asymptomatic carriers who can still spread the virus to others. So if you're wearing this and going, fine, I don't have any symptoms. Mm -mm. It's estimated that six to 18% of those infected carry the virus without developing symptoms. Add to this an incubation period of around five days, but up to 14 days in some cases before symptoms even develop and even those who do go on to show signs of being contagious can spread the virus to a lot of people before they start to fall ill. If we were all wearing masks, with the understandable exceptions, we'd just be a lot safer. We would not be safer in any of the following Etsy finds though. Now this is quite clearly ridiculous. Yes, he is actually wearing a mask. I know, it's difficult to see. At least the shop itself says, face mask for fun. It doesn't protect you or anyone. Perfect for the people who cannot breathe through a regular face mask. This face mask will protect you from nothing. I mean, I'm pleased you know. But also, who buys this? Terrible, silly, why even? It's this kind of behavior gonna have us stuck in a second lockdown for months. One up from this, but still super stupid, is the cheesecloth mask. I mean, I guess it's kind of okay when she's wearing it, except not. It's just that it looks a bit thicker when it's actually on her face. So I find this hilarious. So many of these listings for breathable masks have photos where they hold the mask up to the sun and show how many holes it has for the virus to get through. What? What are you doing? What was your thought process here and why? And here we have another sheer mask, this time of the black lacy variety. Again, I think we're straying here into lingerie for the face, but if that's, your, if that's your thing. Mask wise, no. Also love that they included a picture of fingers through the mask. I shouldn't be able to see your fingers through it, Janice. God. Delightfully, Etsy also then directed me to the sexy mask category. Don't worry, it's not that kind of sexy mask. Look, it doesn't matter if you think you look pretty. It matters whether or not you catch a terrible virus. God. Now we move on to the following the letter of the face covering law, but not the spirit category with a balaclava. Did you think this one through? Was it like, ha 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 ha, look, my face is covered. They can't tell me off. Full of potential virus onto everyone. Cause I'm so funny. Of course, some people saw the balaclava mask and they were like, ha 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 ha, watch me. And they decided that the best thing to do is to create a regular mask and then put a massive zip in the middle. So you can smoke and touch your filthy little hands with potential disease to your face. I hate everything. Here's a cat wearing a mask. I mean, I know that they're now debating whether animals can or cannot get COVID and then die from it. You want to protect your cat and I understand that. But this, this is the super villain cat. Thanks so much for joining me today to be horrified by the things people think they can get away with. Why? Why? Please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, keep your distance and wear your mask when you are out in public. I just, I just know. Look after each other, please, friends. Please, it's all I'm asking. I really just don't wanna have to go back and shield again. I've only been out like four times in, since, uh, what month are we even in? Oh, I don't know. I think it's been six months now, maybe. Can we just, just give me a little bit of freedom? It's all I ask. Thanks so much for watching. Please do drop a like if you enjoyed this video and my general terror. Leave a comment with the worst mask you've seen and subscribe if you haven't already. Join me next time. Hopefully we won't be in a lockdown then. Bye bye.